Hello, what is up guys? My name is Gamer 3737 and today we are going to be playing Jurassic World Evolution. Remember to like, subscribe, and slap that bell, please. And so what we are doing today is we are going to be making a in-gen park, which is sort of like a techie um, base, which uh, some YouTubers did this a while ago, and um, I'm going to do it now. And, um, we are only about two weeks away from, we are only about two weeks away from the, um, what is it called? The Summer Update and the Claire's Sanctuary. So I am really excited for that, and just remember, stay tuned on my channel so you guys, uh, can see what is new and everything. And so, um, yeah. And so what I'm doing right here, I'm just uh, kind of making a uh, a box. And what I'm going to do is, um, I, well, first of all, I'm going to get some a uh, electrified concrete uh, fences, and I'm just gonna kind of uh, bring it down to like where everything is. Just gonna smooth it out and everything, and then I'm just gonna take it and I'm going to curve it oh, yeah I'm gonna so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna have it go out a little bit right there and then curve it and then I'll just bring it back I'm not gonna put it all the way back because there is no dinosaurs in here so like I don't really need to um do that and now I'm just gonna quickly put some fencing on the other side uh, like so like that so now there's fencing right there and so then I'm going to get the large power stations and then I'm just gonna start placing them I'm just gonna start placing them I'm gonna place it like right there so like I have some room for like some trees because I mean I know this is supposed to be a um a like in-gen park with like nothing but I mean I still like the trees and everything and how like it is getting overgrown and so we can't fit a large power station there so I might as well just grab like a small one because I mean it's the small ones still look good just trying to get it lined up quickly and I will also be doing a Fortnite video it will not be released tonight but or the night I'm recording this, which is on a Thursday. But, um, I will make a new video about Fortnite, but, uh, not right now. So, um, yeah, so this is the power station area so far. Which, um, I mean, I guess it looks okay. So then what we are going to do is, this could be, like, the breeding zone. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this vertical concrete and we're gonna pull it all the way to out here. Like so. And what else I'm gonna do, I'm also gonna close my park so like no guests can come in and everything. Just to kind of make it feel like, okay, so what we have to do is we have to take this, we have to cut it down. So I'm just gonna go right in the middle gonna cut it down right there now hopefully there is space which there is and so I'm gonna quickly just center it there we go and then I'm gonna bring the path down and with this new update see like there's some green right here about what we can do in this next update we'll let us place some like rocks or something there to make it just make it feel more natural instead of just placing um, trees and everything so now that we have that done I mean I guess we could start working on our first um, like paddock so uh, what I'm thinking is this is going to be like a sub paddock for like dinosaurs that are just like um, not really like um, I wouldn't say important but like dinosaurs that are like able to like withstand a small enclosure and then like um 
a dinosaur like if you go to the zoo what is the first animal you're really going to see that's what I'm like trying to do um, so yeah so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go out with uh, three concrete and then I'm gonna place some heavy steel so like you could like actually see in the paddock which I think gives it a like cool little thing and what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take this heavy steel fence and I'm going to bring it all the way down here. And so then it's going to cut down the paddock a lot, but I want it to be like that. Like this is like in gen. So like they're like the mean people of Jurassic Park. So like they don't want their dinosaurs to be like happy and everything. They want them to, they just want to contain the dinosaurs. So like, um, they could do testing and everything on them so they're really not dinosaur lovers they just uh want to capture the dinosaurs so they could do all that work and everything but um yeah so uh what i'm doing right here um i don't really know what i'm doing i'm just trying to make like something to make it look interesting so uh i have no idea what dinosaurs i'm going to place in here I'm gonna quickly get some incubation speed on it. and while we're at that I need to get a ACU center on the way because there is no way I can move my dinosaurs so I need to quickly place this right there I want to bring down this path and like I said we can't fit anything right there, but in this next update, we can place some rocks or some trees right there, which will actually be um, really, really good. Um, so, so far, this is the paddock that we have. Um, it's not that large. Um, so what I'm thinking is like we could put some trees in here. It's so, like these are like the only trees the dinosaurs really have. And then, I mean, I guess this is in gen, so they like everything precise and everything. So, like, place that water down in a perfect circle because that's how in gen is. And so, then I'm going to quickly get a. Well, should I do a herbivore or a carnivore? Just let me look at the dinosaurs quickly. So, I mean, I could put a small herbivore in there but i'm thinking that like a, dino a park like this has big dinosaurs and only carnivores so what i might do is i might go for the herrerasaurus because i mean the herrerasaurus is one of the newest dinosaurs added but it is also a cool dinosaur so um i'm just gonna go for like uh maybe four so i'll do the alpine pattern in the step pattern yeah so and I'll quickly put some stuff on here to make my ACU better. So this will be a carnivore paddock. Um, and there will be viewing towers. And I will place those. Okay. So what we could do now is we could get this and we could place it here and we could just drag this down like so and I mean I do want this to be a pretty uh, symmetrical park not symmetrical but like a park where it's like perfect no curves straight lines all that jazz we put some trees out here to surround that. So that's our first paddock done. And I mean, we already, I mean, with this first paddock, I mean, we still have like a bunch of stuff left. So the rare resources are nearly done. And so what I want to do next is I just want a bunch of gray buildings. And so I mean, but I mean, we have to have some like 
you know, different great buildings. And so what I'm guessing is we might be able to do a hotel because, I mean, it is gray and white and all that. And, I mean, the security, they do need some uh, hotels, too, because, I mean, if InGen are staying here and everything, they need to do that. And so also place some emergency shelters every once in a while because, I mean, this is like a dinosaur theme park and they always want to be protected. I mean, I'll put one over here too. And so like they always want to be protective and everything. So like, yeah, so just gonna quickly put some trees on here. And I mean, we could do pods where this point right here is the first pod so like what we just made is pod one and then we can make pod two and then pod three and then so forth but right now so there is that section right now and right now we are going to release our alpine and step our rare resources There is the Harare resource, and um, I like this dinosaur. It's uh cool, and me personally, I think this dinosaur looks way more better than the normal Velociraptor, because I mean, this dinosaur I think looks more like a Velociraptor than the actual Velociraptor, and so um, I think that's pretty cool. And so we'll go for arid and let's see arid and woodland So those dinosaurs So you can see here's our hotel and everything and so I mean you can get a good Glimpse of the park so far. Also. I forgot to turn on the day and night cycle So it could go through day and the night and all that stuff So we have our first Rare source down. Asset to be which is good. And so uh just waiting for these other two. And so I'm probably gonna make Collecting. another paddock in this pod one area. Or I mean I guess it's okay for now. Wayne, I guess we'll start working on our pod two. And so what I'll do is I'll bring this out to here and then I will place my other monorail station right here and then delete this path. So this is our pod 1 done. So then we're going to have a pod 2, and then a pod 3, and all of that. So here are our two dinosaurs, right here. And there's not going to be a lot of people, because this is a in-gen park. So there's, um, I closed the park, so there won't be a lot of people. Which, I mean, InGen is secretive, and I mean, I want to want them, and I want to want people in my private business, too, so. Here we have the arid and woodland uh, Harare resources. Wait. I think I made... Do you have the same dinosaur, did I? Okay, no I didn't. I thought I made two of the same dinosaur, but I didn't. So that's the Arid Herrerasaurus, and this is the... What Herrerasaurus is this? This is the Woodland Herrerasaurus. That Woodland Herrerasaurus is really red and reminds me of the Jurassic Park Operation Genesis Herrerasaurus, which is um, really uh, cool. And so, yeah, and so what we're going to do right here, we are going to start making our first, our, our second pod. So, just going to bring this out here. 
sell. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get a electrified heavy steel fence. And I'm just gonna bring it all the way down. So right now these guys aren't happy because I mean there's no force in there, but because we're in CMX mode, uh, you know, it really doesn't matter. So I'm just gonna bring. Oh, okay. So we need to go out one, in, out, and asset being transported, in, and bring it all the way out, and then okay, can't go that close. So you have to go all the way out here. There, and then there, transportation in progress. And there, and then there, and then there. Okay, that was a lot of theirs. Okay, so we have that done. So now I'm just gonna quickly put in some more trees. And so, what should we do for our second enclosure? Uh, I don't want to do any big dinosaurs yet because. Reasons and um, so I'll do so I'll do one, two, three, and then we'll just do one, two, three. So I mean, this will be a pretty big enclosure. So break that one. I'll break that one. And so what I'll do, I'll put heavy steel fences right there. I'll bring this one out three, go out and then go down three, and then I will place a viewing gallery right here. Bring that down. Okay. Let's get rid of all the trees out up here so I know what I'm working about or working with. Okay. I guess I'll just take these and then just place them or actually I'll put another viewing gallery right here something down here. I'll put down the advanced storm station all the way down here. I'll actually put it like back here. I don't like that spot. I'll have to move it quickly. And I'll put it right there. And then, uh, yep, and then I'll just grab a path, and I'll do that. Oops. Oops. I'll do that. And then, do that. And then that. Fill it in with trees. And then, yeah, there's that paddock done. So, uh, all of the Herrerasaurs are in here, and they are fine. So now what should we put in here? We obviously need a bigger uh, carnivore. So, I mean, I think we should, uh, hmm, what should we do? I'm thinking about doing a medium-sized carnivore. So what do we have? We have... 
Ooh, we could do Metri, but now nah, I want to do a big carnivore on this one because I mean it's big. I mean we could do Carcharodontosaurus. That'd been good. Because I mean I would do Acrocanthosaurus, but we I want to save that later because it's new. So we're gonna go with Caragon Carcharodontosaurus. I'll do the rainforest pattern and the jungle pattern, and then I'll just get that paddock set up for them and everything. So in this paddock, everything was like set and everything. This pond was like man-made where this paddock is in this one is actually like they found it in the jungle and they left it how it was so i'm just gonna like quickly like make like a river or something and then like i'll drag it out like this and then that and then i'll do this and oops Okay, like that, I'll quickly put some right there, I'll quickly put one right there, okay, there we go, it's like a, I don't know what it is, okay, I'm going to quickly break this, and so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to stop right here, and go like that, and I'm going to go all the way out, and stop right here, Go out to there, and I'm gonna stop right there. So this kind of looks like the river, like they didn't stop the river flowing. I mean, they they obviously they didn't stop the river flowing because I mean it's actually went through. But it looks like it's um, it looks like uh, the river kind of um, I don't know what the word is. Okay, so I just quickly, like, I'm just gonna, like, stop this. I don't want the river to go all the way out there, so I'm just gonna quickly do that. I'm just gonna get rid of this water quickly. So then I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep getting rid of this water. Uh, right there is good. And, just extend this. Add, like, a tree here. What I'll actually do, I'll place a feeder right here at the very end. Okay, so there's that paddock done. So this paddock is obviously big. So, okay, here is the rainforest and jungle. Caracosaurus. So I'm just gonna quickly, and I know you guys can't see this, but what I'm actually doing is I'm spelling out the names of the dinosaurs. So like right now, it just looks like that I'm just looking at the dinosaur, but what I'm actually doing is I'm actually spelling out the Caradontosaurus Char name. So yeah. Shoot them. So I'm looking at these two right here, and they look okay there. And then if you go over here, this paddock looks too big for just these. So I'm wondering if we could put a uh, sauropod in there. So what I'm thinking is we could do a. I want to do a big dinosaur. Maybe we'll do Dreadnoughtus. I mean, I really don't use Dreadnoughtus that much, so I mean, I'll use him. I'll get a jungle one, and then, um, you know what, no, one Dreadnoughtus is, um, good. So, I'm gonna quickly place this feeder over here. So, we need to separate these two dinosaurs from as far away as possible. So, I mean, I'll put this herbivore feeder right there, so like, if you go into the green gallery, the only way you can see it is like if you turn right. And so, I mean, I guess they're okay. So now I'm going to quickly just move these Carcharodontosaurus over. And, 
uh, yeah, and uh, this Dreadnoughtus is going to take a while, so I mean, I'm just gonna uh, stop now, and then uh, I'll catch you guys back. Hey guys, the Dreadnought is the Dreadnoughtus is finally up. Probably took around two minutes, but okay, let's see what this dinosaur is like. Okay, it's very, very tall. I'm gonna be honest, dude, the only time I looked at this Dreadnoughtus was, I mean, when it came out for the car note with the Cretaceous pack. I mean, that's it. I mean, I've really never used it or anything. I mean, I've always used, like, the Brachiosaurus. Same with Memenchi. I've never used Memenchi ever either. really good roar like that like that roar that roar is really good so now I'm just gonna quickly uh, spell it quickly hey guys you just named it so now I'm going to shoot it so now I'm going to look at the Carcandontosaurus okay so the Carcandontosaurus are kind of pretty big in this enclosure so, um, yeah. You know, actually, I'm gonna take matters into my own hands and actually shoot the Dreadnoughtus myself. I mean, it is a pretty big target, so I mean, I don't think I can miss. There you go. So now I'm going to move him over. So the only problem is I think the Cargandontosaurus are going to be uh, always like following it and everywhere which might not be good so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly move this feeder all the way back here so that it is a way from the uh, as far as way as possible from the Dreadnoughtus and uh, so right now these are the Cargandontosaurus in their um, their home right now and uh, yeah so I do like this uh, skin the rainforest skin for the Kirk and Dantasaurus it's a really good skin and, um, yeah and so this newest dinosaur that is being added to this paddock is the Dreadnoughtus the only problem is I think um, the only problem I think is that the Dreadnoughtus is always going to be panicked from um, these two dinosaurs. But with the newest update to Jurassic World Evolution, the Dreadnoughtus will not fear these guys because I mean it can't. I mean it obviously looks like it will take them down, but I mean it won't really. So um, yeah, but I mean it will have its time to eat, and just in case. I will put another feeder all the way back here into this corner just in case and uh, yeah just in case uh, this guy needs uh, everything and, um, yeah and so that's uh, the end of the video so I'll quickly just show you guys these pods I'll actually show it in new, uh, the new capture mode so uh, here we go um, so when you first enter the park, you have this long concrete, and if you go to the left, you have the power plants, and then if you keep going this way, uh, you have the Hammond, found the Hammond Creation Lab, and then the hotel, and also the emergency shelter, and then also the monorail station that takes you to pod 2. But right now, uh, so also from the entrance, if you turn right, you could uh, go see the ACU center, but then there's also a... Uh, tower where you can look into the Herrerasaurus entrance, or not entrance, Herrerasaurus paddock. So you see, you have the Herrerasauruses, which are cool. And I don't know why I did like this sideways thing, but I mean, it kind of looks cool. So as it turns night, we will go over here to pod two. And as you can see, you have some dinosaurs. As you can see, the Dreadnoughtist right now is uh, drinking some water. And because it is so dark, I have lost track of the Cucurodontosaurus. Just gonna quickly exit capture mode and find them. So they over over here. These two Cucurodontosauruses that are 
inside of each other, which is weird. But, um, yeah, that's it. So, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you guys again. Remember to like, subscribe, and slap that bell, please. And, yeah, have a good day and a goodbye.